Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, and this is a Vale of Time. So, I played this a while ago, and I'm pretty sure I have videos on my channel right now of just me dinking around, considering I haven't really figured out this YouTube shtick yet. Um, but I really want to get back into it, so this is day one. That was perfect timing. But this first grindy part for any of you that haven't played it so far this is a survival base game and if anybody has played a survival base game there's always that first part of the game where you are punching trees to get resources along with that picking up heavy ass rocks and pretending like you can carry that in your inventory for long periods of time um I have this is not my first character this is well this is my first character so um i have a little bit more of stats than you normally would at the beginning i thought about restarting but at the same time i really want to take this at the end game i've only completed the third boss total in this game i kind of drop it pick it back up and then drop it and take it back up so I really want to take this seriously and try to get as far as possible. And hopefully with the added bonus of this being YouTube, I should be motivated enough to keep it going. With anything, criticism is always helpful and needed in improving in any way, shape, or form. Holy shit. Don't do that. But the nice thing about having these stats is I can... This early game is going to go by pretty quickly for me, which I want. Hopefully, I can sneak up to this dude. Which I can. I'm damn. If you want to pick this game up, I highly recommend it. Um, I have just under 400 hours under my belt I'm pretty sure um, started playing it when it first came out and I did I think two or three videos and then I have five stock videos of just my full playthrough none of them really has dialogue because being a conversationalist is not my forte but I'm doing my best we need a little bit more stone, and that was a spike from hell. Uh, we need ourselves a hammer. And we need to get a stone axe, so we need some more stone. Which... Here's one, two, three, four... Was it four or five? Let's grab five just in case for which I already had two one in my inventory so only need three it's okay and I could have been using that that's okay so I am literally one hit which I can fix that a little bit until I get my cooking station order when you guys first start off, I would highly recommend just going with the the saplings. I wouldn't cut down real trees and getting these guys. Because you can get a three stack of 50 pretty fast. And when you cut down one of these guys, it cuts down in sections. So it just adds a little bit more time. And that first day, it's really necessary to get as many resources as fast as possible. So you get a starter house. Um, Usually there's some shacks around that can help you out in the starting. Which already have a roof for your crafting station, so it really doesn't take that much effort to get a secure base right out the get-go. And if you hear that, that would be some honey. Where are you at? There you are. That's gonna hurt. 
I didn't think that through. I might die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Damn it. Yeah, I really didn't think that through. We're not even five minutes into this fucking playthrough and I already died. Off to a good start. Love to be about it. Here for it. Okay. But the nice thing is... A, I didn't have any gear, and B, I didn't have that much on me, so my stats will drop a little bit. It's on death, your stats dwindle, but that's only as how many times you fucking die. So if I die again, if you see in that top right corner, no, no skill drain, they give you, I don't know, the full duration of it but if you're in a high risk area where you're getting attacked by a lot of mobs and so it'll enable you to go run grab your shit and if you accidentally die again then it's not going to continuously drain your skills so there's a little bit of balance to it but there has to be some kind of downfall from you dying besides just losing your shit there's some items that you do keep when you die which is nice but those high ticket items are always what are going to be out of your inventory. The nice thing is, this little tombstone over here with my beautiful name on it has everything. I just got to go up to it and click it. Items recovered. Oh. Okay. So, here's a clearing. Another spike. I apologize if it does come up on the video. And another honey, which, let's see if I can, this one, I don't know if I can reach that, I don't know, nope. I'm failing miserably at this. Poison two seconds. There we go. Oh, they're swarming. There we go. Did I get... I have one queen bee. That's okay. That's enough for one hive. So, this is what I was talking about, a starting shack. It just... It really helps you in the early game to be able to just fix this up, which you need a crafting workbench first, and put him there, and then we'll go ahead and go like this, and we can repair all this damaged areas, which Weather checking in this game is a constant battle, depending on what kind of storms you have. Um, there are mobs that'll come out for raids to mess with you, so you always want to make sure that your house is up to par. It'll never fully destroy your house, but the health will dwindle over time. I did destroy quite a few of these, which isn't terrible, but do have to fix it back up again, which is easy enough to do. We need one of these, and I am going to throw a double door in here because I'd want easy access, as any man would. Uh, do 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 do, which I don't know. I can get in there. I don't think I can get in there. So we're going to go. I think these are 45s. No, those. Uh, maybe not. Let's go like this. Oh. It is a 45. Wow. Throw this. Here. I 
should. Is it walking here? Yeah. Cool. That's boom. Okay. Now we need a 45 thatch roof. And what did we have on here? We had a 45 roof bridge. And we have shelter. Another thing we need to do is we need to make our cooking station, but we also need a fire to do that. So we need to get, you guess it, more stone. That only required five, which I got. And we're gonna set it outside because I do not wanna make a chimney on this thing. I'm not going to get too invested into it just on the basis of I do want to make a proper house. And the nice thing is we got some raspberries right at the get-go, which is a great starter fruit source. The only thing besides raspberries is going to be mushrooms and deer meat and boar meat. And there are, oh, what are they called? They're like little toads. Let's go find some, actually. This is gonna bug me. But they're always by water. And when you kill them, they give you a tail. Because apparently that's the only part of their body that's edible. And we're probably gonna make our starter base in this ring here. Old grave site. Easy bone fragments right off the get-go. Do need some more pores. So I am naked and afraid. So I need to get some pants on. Come here, big boy. And if you hear that little ting at the end, that's a crit. Um, stagger is a pretty identical noise. I think there's a little bit of variation to it, but once I get a shield and start parrying, you guys will be able to hear it. And I don't know, I really hope you guys don't see those spikes, but if you do, I apologize. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Necks. They're called necks. The little frog guys are called necks. Graylings are your first baddies you'll come across. Uh, where's some water? And I forgot to throw a marker on the house. So hopefully I don't lose my shit. Let's find one of these baddies. Another thing we need is flint. We can make a better axe right off the gate. There's few resources that you can only find around a water source, besides just a neck, which you just heard him. There he is. See, it's like a little frog guy with arms. I guess frogs already have arms. They're not too strong. Grayling. Beautiful thing about this game, if you really pay attention to the audio, um, your awareness and the direction that it's coming. Really easy to pick on. Especially if you have a bow and you're going out for hunting on deer. Um, every time they chirp, like one just did, somewhere over there, it'll give you a pretty good general direction on where you need to be. And there's another hunting. 
Hopefully we can get another candy. That's another good starter food source. And finding those hives can be a pain in the butt sometimes. So we're off to a good start. So this is another one that's... Ooh, first try. Uh, honey and... Didn't get a queen bee. Damn it. If any veteran players know if there's a better way to ensure that you do get a queen bee, I think it's just RNG. But in case I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments. Okay. We got a good starter food source. Now we're just going to make it back up this hill. Take in the scenes. Get some raspberries. I try to get a 50 stack of raspberries every time I go out because not only is it a good food source, but later in the game when you start making potions and different food sources, it's one of the main qualities. Um, there is a jam you can make with blueberries and raspberries that once you get into the dark forest, it helps a lot to have. I can't remember the stats it gives you, but I think it's either 25 health and then 40 stamina which is also another big thing on these guys if you pay attention to the stats of the food you're eating like raspberry gives you seven health and 20 stamina which you need a lot of stamina when you're fighting so it's not only the health the health comes along with the gear that you put on so if you only pay attention to the stamina is what I primarily do because I want to have a good stack on stamina in case I need to run away or if I'm using my bow, if I'm using sink, if I'm sneaking up on an enemy, it helps a lot. You don't have to manage your manage your stamina as much as long as you have a good stack already prior to a fight. Especially trolls. Trolls are buttholes at this fucking level. Uh, da, da, da. And I'm just making sure I have a full stack of fuel. And then we can go ahead and cook up what we got. And another thing, I need to make a bed. Furniture. I need more wood. Okay. Food is done. One thing you want to look out for when you start cooking your food up, if you leave it too long, it'll actually turn into coal. And once you get your forge together, if you don't have uh, a refinery, I think it's called a refinery. Um, it's like a forge for coal. You put in wood and then you get coal out, which it requires quite a bit of resource. So if you don't have those resources and you just want to get some, if you have an immense amount of meat, just burn it up. I'm pretty sure the burn capability of charcoal and coal are the same. You won't quote me because I'm probably wrong on that. And we need eight wood. Three, and I'm going to let those burn so you guys can see what happens if you leave them on too long. 
it gives you quite a bit of time to catch it before they actually do turn a turkel, but it's a very distinctive sound as well, so if you're doing something in here, there it is. No more room. I have more cocoa bowls. There we go. Another dangerous thing to watch out for, if you sleep with something on your cooking rack, then it will automatically burn throughout the night. There we go. And booyah. So we got a good starter resource. I don't think I have enough for armor yet. Too exposed. What do you mean it's too exposed? Try that again then. There we go. Alright. Tunic? No, I want pants first. I need to cover up the dangly bits. There we go. I'm a pants man. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you guys want to do me a big favor and give me a like or a comment or subscribe or something to help me break through this new algorithm. Um, I've done YouTube for quite a while. Well, I did do YouTube for quite a while, and I didn't really go too far with it, but if you look through my playlists and my videos, there's quite a different of content variation, so um, if you want to check it out, that would be very appreciative and helpful towards me, but until then, I'll catch you in the next video.